I should actually sing. What it is, what's up? Got your nigga in the club, goddamn what it is. What's up? Got your nigga in the club, goddamn. Grab your drinks, grab your popcorn, cause it's about to get messy, honey. I'm about to spill all of the tea, all, all, all of it. Do you feel this connection? What it is, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Baby K, and I'm back again with another video. As y'all could tell, I look a little fancy today, honey. I never hop on here looking this fancy, but quarantine got a girl bored. <laughs> so this is just something, something light, something, you know, something, something nice. As y'all could tell by the title, today we're going to be talking about fake friends, honey. I'm gonna be giving you guys all of the tea. If you're having a hard time dealing with a friendship breakup, because listen you guys, friendships are literally just like relationships. At the same standard that you would hold your boyfriend or your girlfriend when you're choosing a boy that you're gonna like, when you're choosing a girl that you're gonna like, that you're gonna make your girlfriend, you're gonna make him your boyfriend or whatever, you are choosy, you feel me? Like picky, like we're not gonna sit here and just pick any just random person. So when we're talking about like your friendship circle, I think you need to be the exact same way. And if you're not like that in your dating relationship, then listen, something has got to change. All right, I'm going to be telling you guys how to spot fake friends, how to cut them off, like literally giving you guys tips. I am not dealing with any, any more fake friends toxic friends I do not do that I do not have the time for that honey like I don't even talk to people I don't even talk to nobody so like mm -mm, we don't do that raise your hand if you ever had one of your girls do you dirty raise your hand if you've ever done one of your homegirls dirty okay 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 all right, I'm going to be giving you guys a couple like signs that like your friend is fake. And if you feel like you relate to this or if you feel like I'm attacking you because I'm really not trying to like attack nobody or like throw shade at nobody. If you feel like you apply in one of these categories, you feel like you're treating somebody like that, then you know, you need to take a second, take a step back think about it because you know you don't want to be a toxic person in nobody's life it's best if you just remove yourself okay and just go do you honey this is going to be an advice video all right personal experiences i've experienced a lot of fake friends a lot of fake girlfriends you know in my life and i just feel like it's about that time that i speak on it you know if you want to know all the tips and tricks on how to level up in 2020, no longer deal with fake friends, honey, then you are in the right place. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Number one, all right? You know somebody is not your friend. You know she don't really like you. You know she not really rooting for you. She not really on your team if she puts herself in competition with you if you have a friend who's trying to compete with you and when i say competition for example honey a lot of girls do not like to hype other girls up and when i say they don't like to hype other girls up like that's that's cool like that's like it ain't no pro actually it's not cool people who usually put themselves in competitions with people are usually too insecure to just be themselves because literally we don't got time for that over here like why are we competing how is this even a competition i'm in my lane doing my thing you're in your lane doing your thing i'm not trying to hop on your lane and try nah 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 nah, nah. that's not what we're doing this is an example this is just an example you're my friend i have this youtube channel when i started it i told you hey girl i'm about to start a youtube channel and you was just like <laughs> I don't know, girl. Like, I don't really know. You don't really have YouTube personality. Listen, if you have friends that are trying to tell you, listen, there are things that you can't do, they're trying to hold you back from basically attaining your goals. If you feel like you're in competition with a friend, it's either you're the one putting yourself in competition with her, which is not right. That means maybe you're the toxic friend because that does not happen. In girl groups, girl circles, friends, we don't do that, honey. We're not competing over here. Everybody is a bad bitch. 
there's space for everybody. God makes room for everybody. Everybody can shine. We're all lights over here. So if you have a problem with that, if you see your homegirl doing her and you're literally just talking crap about it, you can't support her, you cannot be happy for her, then listen, mm -mm. we as women need to learn to start supporting each other a little bit more because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If your friend gossips to you about their friends, listen, she, he is not your friend. Drop that. Best believe they're talking to everybody else about you too. You can't trust somebody who's out here telling you other people's business. Mm -mm -mm. We don't do that over here, honey. I'm the type of person, I can't really be around people who like really move funny. People who... I know are are actually like fake like if you're toxic if I've seen you be toxic to friends your friends not even me because I don't even put myself in a situation for anybody to be toxic with me not anymore I don't got time for that if I see you moving funny now I just cut you off I just go about my business like that's that's just not it because listen you are who you hang with like that's actually fact even if if you're not doing what your girls are doing or whatever at the end of the day people are going to associate you they're just going to associate you to your friend group like literally i've learned that and i'm over that if you really know me not if you're watching me on here or if you used to know me and you haven't spoken to me in a really long time and you don't really know where my head is at what my values are but if you know me for real for real I don't really have time for friendships anymore just because of how toxic and how fake like you know women can really be towards each other if you have a homegirl a homeboy who's out here telling you everybody else's business and you trust them with your business just trust and believe if they're doing it to them they are doing it to you so it's best if you keep shit to yourself that's really what i learned i'm not saying not to have friends i'm not saying not to like i'm really not saying that another way to spot if one of your friends is fake is if they're only hitting you up when they need something chances are they're using you i'm not sure what it is that they want from you but they want something from you if you never hear from this person and i'm not talking about those types of friendship where you guys don't need to hear from each other y'all just know where you guys stand i'm not talking about those types of friendships i'm talking about the girl who only hits you up when she needs something like you know it's literally only when she needs something and that ain't no problem because listen i'm a nice girl i'm nice to my sisters i like to help out i give a helping hand but that's the thing like if i'm about to be nice to you why aren't you nice back like why is it that when you need me i'm nice but when i need you you can't reply why 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 make it make sense because that does not make sense to me are we friends are we not like do you like me do you not like what do you want from me mm -mm, we don't do that over here another way to spot if your homegirl slash homeboy is fake have you guys ever had that friend that you know y'all are cool but the minute you guys have a falling out they're just so quick to go and not only spread your business, but they also tell one-sided, fake-ass stories about you. Have you ever had somebody do that to you? Because, listen, that is the story of my life. When I was younger, having to deal with that and seeing how I overcame that, I just feel like it was for such a time as this. You cannot, under any circumstance, Take that person back into your life like do not that is a red flag you need to cut that friend off cut them off cut it off like period they did it to you once they will do it to you twice three times four times five times again honey they will just keep doing it to you because do you know why do you know why when you give people second chances honey they think that you're just too nice. They think they can just run up and walk on over you, but they cannot do that. Not in 2020, not today, not after watching this video. We're not going to do that because listen, that's just setting yourself up for failure, setting yourself up for disappointment. There's this quote that says, you know, if somebody shows you their true colors, honey, do not take the paintbrush and try to paint them over again the color you want them to be. Like, honey, if I showed up to you today and I'm blue, honey, 
Do not come over here and try to paint me over as yellow because I told you I'm blue. I'm blue, you cannot make me be yellow. And that's on period. Because if somebody ain't shit, if somebody is like toxic, if somebody is a fake friend, you need to drop them, okay? You're taking a W, okay? It's a win for you and an L for them because mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. another one another one another one another one so literally um test this out like if you feel like you have like a couple fake friends like test this theory out let me tell you guys the theory try to get to know yourself a little bit try to find something that you're into try to find something that you're passionate about eventually in life if you haven't found what you're passionate about eventually you'll find it you will literally find it by just walking into what you're meant to be walking into because that was God's plan from the get-go. Do you, and then watch, let me know. See, you need to observe. How do they feel about you doing you? That means like, you know, you're a little too busy, you know, to be sitting here dealing with boyfriend problems. You're at another stage of life because listen, honey, we are not, I repeat, we are not wasting our time on, you know, men and drama in 2020. Like, why would we do that? I know we're in quarantine and we're bored, but why would we do that? So go ahead, try to do you, and you know, if your friend supports you and they're happy for you, genuinely, I don't mean like fake happy for you, like the type of happy where they're like, <laughs> I'm so happy for you because like you just started posting these YouTube videos and they're trash trash quality You don't have a camera. You do not have a ring light none of that bullshit You can't like and they're they're here. They're telling you that oh my god you go girl I'm here for you. You about to make it big honey and then when they see you literally like walking into making it big like you know, you're just you're following what you're supposed to be doing. You're 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 leveling up. Okay, honey, you're leveling up. You're going from levels to level because you're doing something you love. And then now they're just mad. Like I thought you were supporting me. I thought you were happy for me. I thought we were friends, but honey, that is a toxic friend. If she is not happy that you're just doing you and this was just an example for me. And I'm just speaking it into existence, honey, because, like, I'm still recording off of my phone. You know, my ring light is broken, honey, but we're making it work, okay? You see, I started going into how to spot fake and toxic friends, but I feel like we need to go into real friends. Like, what that is, what a real genuine friend is. Maybe I should make a video on that. After y'all tell me how y'all feel about this, maybe I'll make a video on that. I mean, personally... It sits like sometimes I be feeling bad because like, you know, if you have lost a friend or friends or you're still losing friends or you're about to lose some friends after watching this video, honey, just know that God has a reason. And not only that, but take it from me, he will replace them. And when I say replace them, I do not mean in a competition that no, 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 no. If God removes somebody from your life, it's because they were not for you. You guys were not on the same level mentally, spiritually, emotionally, whatever it is, you guys were not on the same level. If somebody's going around just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking about somebody they used to be friends with, then like, I feel bad for your friends. I feel bad for your current friends because... That means if you guys have like a misunderstanding, a little falling out, whatever it is, that's exactly how you're going to do them. You need to watch out for your friends, honey. You seriously need to watch out for your friends. All the girls in your circle, literally, you don't even know it, but they be your biggest haters, honey. Thing is, literally, it all depends on how you value yourself, how it's helping you grow, the benefits of being in this relationship. If you're friends with somebody who does not inspire you or somebody who does not motivate you to do better, who does not like, if actually, I was about to forget a point. You cannot be friends with somebody who keeps their mouth shut literally every single time they should be opening it. Somebody who holds back, somebody who never tells you the truth whatever it is because thing is you don't know if they're not telling you the truth because 
they don't want you to, to, you know, be better, do better. You don't know if they're not telling you the truth because they just don't care. They just don't give a flying fuck. They really just don't give a flying fuck. Whatever reason it is that somebody could be misleading somebody, if your homegirl or your homeboy, actually, because ladies, you know, some of y'all have boy best friends, if he can't, she can't keep it real with you, then that's not really a real friend because that means that no matter what it is that you're doing, like if you were to go on the internet, you know, you were to decide that you want today, you want to um, go and post your nude for whatever reason somebody would want to do that on the, the internet, okay? You decide that that's what you want to do today and then you go to your best friend and you're like, okay, Brittany, this is what I want to do today. I want to post my nude. And Brittany's like, all right, girl. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> Post it up, girl. I'm gonna like it up. I'm gonna retweet it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna all of, all of the tea, all of the tea. You already know Brittany's about to do all of that because she don't like you, honey. She wants you to embarrass yourself. That is her purpose in your life is to make you embarrass yourself because literally, if the only person you trust is somebody you actually cannot trust then can you even trust anybody in this life? No, honey, you cannot. That's the answer. You can't. Because, listen, I've had friends that I've trusted with all of my insides. You know, I've trusted them, and I, oh, my God, I ride or die, bitch. We're about to be best friends forever, honey. <laughs> Besties. Best friend bracelets, best friend necklace, honey. Best friend earrings. I don't know if that exists, but best friend everything. Best friend shirt, everything. And where are they now? And if you ask me if I feel a way, honey, I feel, I feel blessed. I feel honored. Like these are friendships that been ended, honey. We're grown now. We're grown. We're grown. Grown women vibes. Okay. I'm very happy that I was obedient to God when he told me, he knocked at my door and told me, guess what? And I'm like, what Jesus? And he's like, um, you about to have to drop all of your homegirls because they all fake. I'm like, you's a lie. He's like, I ain't never lie, honey. And I'm like, sorry, Jesus, sorry, Jesus. I believe you. I believe you take them all away from my life. And listen, I couldn't go back on it, honey. He took them all. At first, I was wondering how. How am I going to how? Until I started flourishing, you know, doing what I love. Growing from the inside, flourishing is gaining wisdom. Flourishing is reading my Bible. Flourishing is meditating on the word. If you think I wasn't praying to God about fake friends, honey, I, I'm sure I got on my knees about that. That takes a toll on you. Fake friends and toxic friends, that takes a toll on you. If you're spending all your time with a fake friend, you're spending all your time with a toxic friend, they are draining your energy. 99.9% .9 of the time, they don't really want to see you shine. Like, they literally don't really want to see you shine. Like, they don't think that y'all can just come up and shine together. They really just don't want to see you shine. And they can't even tell you that to your face. So that's whack. Like, why would you want to be friends with somebody who can't be genuine? Somebody, nah, 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 nah. Another thing that I think we should, like, highlight, talk about, is an instigator the person who they know everything about everyone like they've heard some like terrible story about everybody everybody okay everybody i can't believe what somebody's telling me about somebody else if i personally never ever had a conversation with them if i've never met them in real life if you have a question if you heard something about me honestly truly like don't believe it. Do not believe it because people do not know what they're talking about. People literally do not know what they're talking about. So if you sit here and you believe everything everybody tells you about everyone. I'm afraid to tell you that like you might be toxic. People who are spreading rumors are the people who do not like other people. So if you've heard a rumor about somebody like it's a rumor and it's really bad and it's a rumor and it's none of your goddamn business to be honest it's none of your business it's not that person's business either and if you're that person you need to stop you need to stop because spreading false information about people is really not where it's at and if you do that if you do that then you're toxic okay okay
quality over quantity. That means, honey, if there's three of y'all, four of y'all, okay, if there's four of y'all, she's talking shit about her, and she's talking shit about she, then best believe that she is talking shit about she. Does that make any sense? If that makes sense, that means that all three of these people are not people that you can trust. These people, okay, these people, these people, you trust them, don't trust them because they will do you dirty. And thing is, they talking about you with each other, with each other, okay, with each other. Even if you were to have one friend, that's better than four, five, six friends that you can't trust, that don't support you, six friends that talk shit about you behind your back, six friends that don't want to see you win. All of the pointers I'm giving you, you need to be able to be that for your friend. You feel me? That's why I think it's very important. Y'all need to start praying for your friends, start praying for your soul family, because honestly, truly, it's a, it's a scary world out there. A lot of snakes. At the end of the day, that's where growth happens. You learn to love yourself. You learn to spend time alone and not need validation from other people. Validation from friends. There's a lot. I could I could go on for days, quite frankly. But I don't want to ramble on. This video is already like a little long. If you guys want more girl talks and if you guys want, you know, me to spill some more tea. The next time you have to deal with a fake friend or if you're dealing with a fake friend right now, I hope this video was able to help you, was able able to give you some insight and the biggest thing I have to leave you with though it's really hard to let go of toxic and fake friends I I know that and the biggest thing that has helped me is praying for discernment I know it might sound like what but seriously I don't know if you have to write it down whatever it is that you have to do to ask God for discernment okay honey if you have discernment can't nobody 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 be fake or toxic to you like literally thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video